Hey, this is Speech and Language Pathology. Today we will discuss about the elephants and the complementary distribution. Elephants are usually relatively similar sounds which are in mutually exclusive or complementary distribution. The complementary distribution of the two fonts means that the two fonts can never be found in the same environment. For example, the same environment in the sense of the position in the word and the identity of adjacent phonemes. If two sounds are phonetically similar and they are in complementary distribution, then they can be assumed to be allophones of the same phoneme. For example, in many languages, voiced and voiceless stops with the same place of articulation do not contrast linguistically but are rather two phonetic realizations of a single phoneme. As we discuss about the p and p, t and t, and g and g, these all are different. In other words, voicing is not contrastive, at least for stops, and the selection of the appropriate allophone is in some contexts fully conditioned by phonetic context. Word medially and depending upon the voicing of the adjacent consonants, and is in some context either partially conditioned or even completely unconditioned. For example, Word initially, where in some dialects of a language the voiceless allophone is preferred, in others the voiced allophone is preferred, and in others the choice of allophone is a match of individual choice. For example, some French speakers choose to use the alveolar trill ro when in the village and the more prestigious uvular trill ro when in the palace. Such a choice is made for the sociological reasons. Thank you.